So in exercise 3, we are asked to prove that the rate of change of total energy of a single particle moving along the x-axis under the influence of a force is zero. In other words, prove the conservation of energy. And the force is equal to the negative dv by dx, which is the potential energy. And the total energy is given by kinetic energy plus the potential energy, which is a function of position. So what we want to calculate is the rate of change of energy. So we can say E dot is equal to T dot plus V dot. So we just differentiate our total energy. So we know kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So T dot, we just need to differentiate half mv squared. So therefore T dot is going to equal, so bring, so it's a power rule, so bring the two down, that cancels with the half, so it gives us mv. Now because it's implicit differentiation, because we're differentiating with time, we need to differentiate our variable v. So if we differentiate v, we get dv by dt, which is acceleration. So you can write this as mva. So our total energy is mva plus the rate of change of potential energy. So what's the rate of change of potential energy? Okay, well, dv by dt, we can use the chain rule, yeah? The chain rule goes like this. where some variable replaces these here. So it's going to be dx, because that's the only variable we have left. So dv by dt is equal to dv by dx times dx by dt. So x is position, and we, when we do the rate of change of position, we differentiate with time, we get velocity. So this is equal to dv by dx times your velocity. Well, what's dv by dx? Well, we know the force is equal to negative dv by dx, so therefore, this must equal negative force times your velocity. So overall, we have mva and negative fv. So our total energy, E dot, is going to equal our T dot, which is mva, then minus our force times velocity. So we factor out of v, we can get v multiplied by ma minus f, which is the force, and force is equal to ma. ma minus ma is zero, zero times velocity is zero. So therefore we have proved that the rate of change of total energy is zero of a free particle moving along the x-axis under the influence of a force.